building. You excited? You should be. You should be. So how do you feel about coming in and checking in today? Uh, I'm a little nervous, but it's an honor to be here. I have a good idea of what's coming, but it's not like the real thing though, so we'll see what happens. But I'm excited. What, how are you feeling today? Comfortably prepared. What are you most looking forward to? New clothes. <laughs> I'm Melissa Deldine, I'm from Louisiana, and I'm super excited but super nervous at the same time, and I'm just ready to get in there and start Pleep Summer. Hi, I'm Anna Brooks, I'm from Wisconsin. Don't really know how I feel right now, <laughs> not really sure. <laughs> He has wanted to do this for a while, so you know his dream sort of came true. Yeah, I would just echo. We're very, uh, very proud of him and uh, excited that he's heading off on this great adventure that's going to be his uh, uh, career at the Naval Academy. around the house without him. But, you know, he's, he's growing up, going out on his own, and we're proud of him. I'm, I'm very proud of her. I want to be able to do it, so I'm honored to say that she's my sister going into the academy. <laughs> Super proud and excited because it's what he wants. Yep. It's his life. He did it. I went through it 28 years ago, um, but my son Michael here, he just went through it and uh, four years ago. So um, I'm, I'm familiar with the process and I know what's going to happen. But you know, you're you're fighting back that that sadness. You, you miss having your your son around. This small brag. He has learned some of the things on his own. Obviously, and that's what Pleep Summer does. It teaches you to think for yourself and uh, think differently. It's supposed to be fun. Uh, no one ever thinks of Pleep Summer as being fun, but it's probably going to be one of the most fun they're going to have you know, four years after here. What's forcing you to do this? This is completely voluntary. You know, they come here and they said all of a sudden their, their hair is cut, and their clothes are gone, they got these, these white works on, and, they, and their parents are there with tears in their eyes. You, say, you know, you get through that, you'll be very happy that you were here. It became very clear to him and to us that the Naval Academy presented the best opportunity all around. And we're excited about him becoming a man of honor. the beginning. Um, Choice worked hard and we know that he will work even harder as a plebe this summer and then ultimately in this, this first plebe year and we look forward to the next four years here at the Naval Academy. First of all, let me just say congratulations to the parents and the families. Uh, I know this is a family affair in terms of getting your young men and women here to this day. Uh, I want to congratulate you on raising five young men and women who were qualified for one of the, if not the hardest institution to attend and get into in the United States. Give yourselves a round of applause for being great. It's all a blur on I day. So we commiserate with the fact that they have the deer in the headlights look and have no idea what is happening to them or what's going to happen to them in the next six weeks. It is a fast six weeks that goes very slow day by day. Right. 
they come in still the children of their parents. When their parents see them again at the end of Plebe Summer, they're mature adults. They've been through the cauldron of Plebe Summer. Uh, they stand taller, they stand straighter, they speak clearer. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to know what they're going through. Midshipman candidates, rise. Having been appointed a midshipman in the United States Navy, do you swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic? That you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same? That you take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion? And that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to offer? So help you, God. <laughs> Got all the new stuff he was wishing for. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what to say right now. Like, I just know he's going to do really great and he's going to enjoy himself. Yes, ma'am. It was a uh, fun, uh, good experience and uh, can't wait till tomorrow. So. so.